Hello and welcome, my name is Nate from Video Games Recon and in this video we're going to be playing Destiny 2, finally. Now I wanted to play this on release uh, when it came out but I foolishly bought it through Amazon and Amazon have completely fucked me over with uh, delivering my disc on time. So probably should have gone digital, I don't know. The problem with digital is it's more expensive in this country. Uh, so I usually go for physical because you know you're at, you're getting something that you can sell back and it costs less, so it you know it makes sense. But anyway, Amazon, like you know, fucked me over. Like I've pretty I've never had them not deliver on the day. So anyway, yeah, I've been through a, a lot of rigmarole to rigmarole to uh, get the fucking game or whatever and get a refund from uh, Amazon because it still hasn't been delivered and ended up buying the digital version. Um, and yeah so we'll be playing through that I'm gonna play through it anyway even though like I'm way fucking behind the curve like 48 hours or whatever but I wanted to play through it anyway and uh, put up videos so I'm gonna do it anyway even though you know we're gonna get even less views so hopefully everything will be fine I was getting some hitching through the uh, cutscenes so hopefully that's just a weird cutscene thing it might be because I'm on an external drive but we'll just have to see if I've got another headache or nightmare on the go so um, anyway uh, yeah I'm not gonna play through the first two stages as I presume or the first two things I did in the beta as I would presume they're um, they're the same so there's no no point in doing that but I'll have a playlist up and I'll uh, put them all in order so if anybody does want to watch them in order they can um, so yeah that's about it without any uh, further ado let's go kick some booty Deserve the power you were given. I am Gaul, and your light is mine. Okay, so this is where we're going to start to uh, get to the new stuff. Obviously, there's probably going to be a couple of more missions before the strike we've already played, so... This is quite interesting. I've not seen this before, so... I don't know if this was released, you know, before the game's release or not. But, uh, yeah, I was trying not to uh, pay attention to any of that, so... For spoilers and whatnot. So this is the European Dead Zone and the Shard. So I wonder whether it will just throw us into the social space. That would seem a little bit disjointed. You'd... There should be a reason for how and why we got there. Huh. <clears throat> okay, cool. So yeah. I'm fucked, I've got no light. Am I gonna have any weapons? I've got a gun. I don't seem to, uh... God, I can't even run! I can't even run! What the fuck? Can't run. Dude can't get his gun out. This is not looking promising. <clears throat> I have a gun equipped. I suppose they probably... They don't want you to be able to have access to that yet because um, 
<laughs> if you fucking shot, you get their attention and you just get mugged. Because, yeah, we're like... We're like a fucking... 80 year old or something. Even 80 year olds are more sparkly than this. Come on. It says two days after the event as well. Where the fuck have you been for two days? Must have been really fucked up. I have no idea where I'm going either. Go this way because I can't be bothered going all the way up there and then finding out that's not the way to go. And <laughs> you know, it takes you five minutes to fucking walk back here. So, my guess is we're going to bump into one of the the uh, main NPCs. You know, your uh, Savalas and Cades and whatnot. Shit. That's me. Fucked if they spot me, innit? It's cool. Oh, shit. It's quite a uh, cool premise. You, you never had anything like this before in the original Destiny, so... Quite a cool idea. I wish he'd walk a little bit faster though. Gotta give him that. Mike a little bit closer just in case. Because uh, I'm recording in a different way than I normally do. Should streamline the whole process, but uh, getting the audio right is a bit tricky. So I don't know how my levels are. We'll have to check afterwards. See how we go. Somebody let it rip. Hey, oh, what's I can't move now. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, anyway, the hitching that happened um, seems to have gone away, which is nice. My hope is that it was like a server end or something. Because I forget that this game, even when you're playing single player, chucks you into um, online servers, which is really odd. Ah, oh, there's my ghost. He looks like he's a bit fucked up himself. Guardian. Yeah, Mom. You're alive. I thought I'd lost you. Sweet. I can heal you, but I can't resurrect you. Not since. Damn. Okay. I got no bullets. <laughs> Shit. The light is gone. God, my melee doesn't. They've taken the city. Give me power either. Traveler. Everything. The Red Legion is killing powerless guardians. I never noticed that I was in have to get out third here. person, and that was really odd when you think about it. It's obviously because you're so used to uh, social spaces and whatnot. <laughs> Oh, this is pathetic. Can't even do that mantle thing. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Someone on the radar. Get the fuck away from me. I ain't even got no bullets. You know, at least fight with honor, make it a fair fight. Come on. Yeah, mom. Let's just get on with it. Let's get on. Yeah, like I said, the audio in my levels might not be great uh, for this I'm first one. Up an emergency broadcast. Rendezvous coordinates. They're evacuating the planet. But uh, after this, we'll um, I'll adjust them accordingly to make sure everything's working tip top. Yeah, it's kind of uh, interesting the whole Destiny malarkey. I presume we've just got to the European Dead Zone. 
Um, he gave me my original character. I decided to pick him, but he looks a bit different, which is uh, which is interesting. It must be like different models and things. I'm not. I don't like the little tweaks that they've done to him. He looks. I, w I wish they'd have kept it, but they probably did it. They probably had good reasons for it. Like probably didn't want to put the old um, customization, you know, character customization things in it. Probably made better ones or whatever. But still, I, I figured I'd go with them anyway. You know, may as well carry because, like, I was thinking I completely forgot that you'd be able to get your own character. So I was thinking I'll probably make one similar anyway because, you know. Want to carry on your uh, legacy and whatnot? Even though uh, I bailed These after guardians. House of Wolves, so. they had no chance without their powers. That could be us. Damn, Guardian. If you die, I can't resurrect you. Yep. You need to be very careful. If you did, you did, sucker. I don't know if you could hear that. Again, <laughs> audio level is not checked on yet. Um, but uh, yeah, that was Cade on the old radio. Giving a bit of a jibber jabber. Oh, finally we got some bullets. Sorry, old pal, but you ain't gonna need this no more than I do. Oh, let's reload that. Oh shit, here we go. Fuck you, bro. A lot of different armor, ammo, didn't he? See, so yeah, I've got to be super careful because this is like a um, temporarily like a nightfall or something. Like I said, if I'm uh, if I notice things or see references that are from Taken King and beyond, that's uh, a little bit uh, past what I'm used to, so I might say some uh, obvious things for people who have. Uh, Play the later DLCs and whatnot. So yeah. This gun's quite nice. It's got that um whole ricochet thing I think going on with it. But I noticed noticed a couple. It's a submachine gun, it's not quite got the range I wanted. I wanted to jump then, that was a bit excellent. Right, we can do the uh mantle though, which is cool. It's a cool, nice little addition. Let's just try and stick to the main line until we get our powers back. Not, not do any uh, investigating and whatnot. Any discoveries? One week after the attack. Hmm. It's interesting how it's like skipping. Jeez, he's been out here by himself for a week. It's that Falcon again. Is it following us, or are we following it? Which one, dude? <laughs> There's a lot of birds in there. It's kind of a cool thing how they're like properly trying to tell like an epic tale. Like, you've been out here for like a week at least. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that falcon. Alright, that makes sense. And like, presumably the entire planet is under occupation, so that's kind of a cool concept. It might have been interesting if they fleshed it out with a couple more like missions or instances, but it's kind of a cool idea. I like I like uh, where they're going. Uh, this is the one thing I know that they're going to get right with this one, or at least to a competent level, and that is story. Everything else I'm not so much so sure about. I think everybody, else, everything else is like a Destiny 1.5 sort of shenanigan. But personally, I'm okay with that. Like I knew what I, I've tempered my expectations and know what I'm getting into after. Trust me, after Vanilla Destiny, I don't think anything that this game's going to throw at me is going to be too much of an issue. Aside from that whole microtransaction fucking bullshit, that certainly does not work for me. But I'm not going to buy them anyway. I'm not going to. I was never going to buy fucking micro microtransactions. Really, that's not my scene. So 
Yeah. I mean, it, uh, it, hopefully you get enough fucking shaders, because seeing as they're consumables, but I'm pretty certain they're going to flip-flop on that and change their tune, so. Yeah, anywho. Let's go uh, find some bad guys or something. Always with the uh, beautiful vistas. That is one thing Bungie is fucking expert at. A lot of games could uh, take a leaf out of their book on. Oh shit. Oh fuck. He's trying to fly again then. Gotta use like cover I presume more. Oh shit. Come on, come on. Yeah, you do get... <laughs> it kind of plays into the story a bit. Like, you do get a little bit too overzealous with the... You know, oh, I'll be alright. I can just fly away or I can, you know, just regenerate or whatever. Got other lives and shit, but... Yeah. It's a little bit more risky. Risking it for a chocolate biscuit. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling this so far. It, far the, uh, how it does feel like m much more of a uh, continuous, single continuous story. I go around. That might be <laughs> the safer route, all things considered. Okay. Don't want to fuck it on the jumps either. Am I? I'm. Yeah, presumably I'm going down. Is that wrong? I don't want to jump over. I don't know if I'll make that jump. Fuck it. There we go, sweet. Sweet! Yeah, this must be going into the social space now, because the, uh... It's our bad guy. No. Uh, yeah, because the music's cut out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I've got to do that whole thing again. Oh, maybe it was meant to happen? Oh, look. Somebody left a perfectly good guardian lying around. Things must be worse than I thought. Yeah, I think that's meant to happen. And that's our cue. Time to go, people! Um, uh, wait. Where, where are you all going? As far away from here as possible. Yeah, I always wondered about that, how the humans must have felt about the guardians. How they can just keep that reviving. <laughs> Belongs to you. They must the have name's Hawthorne. felt a little bit Just bitter about it. What about you? Fit to fly? Probably gonna need one of these too. Time to make yourself useful, Guardian. All right, people, spin them up. Got a long flight ahead of us. Cause um, yeah, if they're in the fight too, if they're ever fighting. They die, that's it. Do you know what I mean? They must be a little bit like... They get all the glory, they get all the fucking cool tricks and toys and whatnot. And then they never die. You'd be pretty like... I fucking hate these dudes. You have to go around wiping their ass all the time as well. Setting up all their fucking Toys, spaceships and whatnot. Traveller. All that I have done. Grace me with your light. Take your place at the centre of my empire. See me, and the Red Legion will be your true guardians. Dominus, 
The city is secure. Those who fled are being hunted, and those foolish enough to remain have been executed. Victory, as with all hmm. things, is yours to claim. This victory is as much yours as mine, old friend. All that remains is the completion of the cage around this great machine. Then we may begin the extraction of its power and put it to its rightful use. They call it the Traveler. I would contend that other civilizations may be more precise in their naming. Its functions can be controlled and exploited, as we have so clearly proven. Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominus. Gaul. We have spent our lives, you and I, working to reshape our society, reforge our people, rebuild an empire nearly destroyed by Callus's greed and corruption. There is nothing in this universe greater than you. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will be called Emperor. <laughs> what more would the Dominus have? I would have words with my guest. Ha. It's the speaker, innit? I like how they made him not just a one-dimensional bad guy. He sort of has, you know, a repartee with that other fucking dude. History and whatnot. You almost sometimes feel sympathetic for him, which is, you know... So you're the one who speaks for Not what you'd expect from... Uh, uh, destiny bad guy. I mean, he's obviously a complete fucking douche and we're gonna kill him, but, like, you know, he almost had, like, human-like emotions with his, with his fucking buddy there, so that's interesting. I presume he's gonna be pissed when we kill his mate, but, hey, that's what happens when you're a bad guy. So, you know, probably get out of the bad guy business. Coming up on the European dead zone. Gonna be our new home for a while. Look, do you recognize it? That's where we're supposed to go. That thing? They call it the Shard of the Traveler. <clears throat> I call it not a place you want to go poking around. Nah, I think it is the place we want to go poking around because loot. Oh yeah, it's time to get on that loot grind. Well, presumably it's going to do the whole introductions to the uh, social space. I don't know how much of this, if any, I need to record, so we shall see. Because we've seen that the fucking social space from the beat of the pointless... The pointless showing it off in the fucking beta. Um, and aside from seeing what the vendors actually have, which probably isn't super exciting, uh, there's not much to see here. So, in that regard, unless something crazy happens, I'm going to uh, leave it here and say goodbye. So, there'll be more videos to come, even though they're fucking way late. But, you know, thanks, Amazon. Cheers, buddy. Um, yeah. So, anywho, uh, there'll be more videos, come check them out, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more BS of a similar nature. Thank you, and goodbye.